Hey everybody, welcome back to the Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm us, Jack and Later Still Lake Jackson, because yeah, lockdown, quarantine, pandemic thing still going on. So, uh, oh yeah, forgive me, I'm not wearing my stuff, but it's cold as balls here in Texas <laughs> just this weekend, man. Down here in Galveston, it's already like down there freezing and it's supposed to get worse. So, I'm staying warm. I hope you guys are staying warm wherever you're at, unless you're somewhere really warm, then I hope you're staying cool. Either way, uh, this is me just playing around with what's in my uh, fridge and pantry because. I don't want to run the store because, again, it's cold. So uh, this is based on some stuff that my mother used to do. And I'm going to change some stuff, add some stuff, so that'll be great. Uh, before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the little bell, do the youtube -y stuff. You know how that is. And be sure to check out. We've got our aprons and oven mitts and spoons and spatulas and all our merch down on the link down the doobly-doo. And let's just get into it so I can stop talking and get some food. All right, relatively easy. Uh, I'm going to do this with the chicken. I got this big pack. I got it for like five bucks. I'm only going to use half of it here. So it's about a uh, pound, pound and a half. A uh, whole thing of these white mushrooms. You can use whatever kind of mushrooms you want to use. Uh, two cans of the cream of mushroom. I don't know where the hell my other one can. And uh, one onion. We're going to use the whole onion and however many cloves of garlic you're friendly with. Now, apparently, I, I'll say that one's optional. You don't have to put it in there. As long as, as well as the parsley and rosemary. I just happen to have them close and I want to use them. And you're going to need some chicken broth. But you can use water if you don't have the chicken broth sitting around. Uh... And then you're going to need a crock pot. Definitely have to have a slow cooker, crock pot kind of thing. And let's uh, start off by washing all our fruit and veg here and our fungus. So once we got those nice and scrubbed out, be sure to scrub all that stuff. Make sure it's thawed. Uh, we're just going to be throwing everything in the crock pot here. I know you can't see the top of it, but as we're cooking, I want to go that way. Now you can throw in the mushrooms whole. The onion, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give it a swift chop here with this really dull knife. Like I'm having to saw through this. This is ridiculous. Uh... I had a couple pieces of garlic. Oh, yep, that's, yeah, screw it. I'm getting the sharp knife, so if I do that again, I won't have a finger. Shout out to Andy for the knife. Thank you again. Uh, I'm going to cut these down. Again, I'm going to leave them this long, slender stuff, but if you want to cut it down any further than that, that's fine. Uh, if you only want to use half an onion, if you're not that big of a fan of onions, I can understand that too. So I think I took one of these, just cut it in half, just to get a little smaller, just to kind of show you guys. Now just take that, dump it all into your crock pot. And get ready. We're going to stir it here in a minute. So now your garlic. Got it all nice and peeled. Get all the skin off of it. Uh, sharp knife. Again, just chopped hell out of it. Now this one I'm just going to cut down as small as possible. Because again, you don't want giant chunks of garlic in your stuff. Uh, so I just mash it with the knife as best I can. And then throw that right in top of it. This is going to make it smell great. It's going to make it taste even better. Now the mushrooms, you can slice them into multiple spots. You can leave them whole. Or you can just do... Uh, a single slice down the middle is good. I think that's what I do with this one. Just like, yeah, that's fine too. Uh, it's going to cook down because of the water, so you don't have to worry about it being too big. And, uh, oh, the chicken. Okay, we're already on to the chicken. So this chicken, you can leave it in there, big size. Uh, you can cut it long ways if you want. I, I ended up cutting all these uh, with ways, so you have smaller chunks. Uh, this is something like you can totally use for meal prep. That kind of stuff. I just did the entire pound and a half of the chicken, cut it down. It was four different chicken breasts. Cut those in there. So get you a spatula, a spoon, a flipper, whatever you got. Just use your bare hands. If you got just kind of mix it around. You don't want all the chicken just sitting on top. Uh, just kind of mix that in. And then we're going to put all the rest of it. Now, again, you're going to need a crock pot to do this. Apparently, you can do it in like a Dutch oven or on a stove top. But I don't know if you want to use all that. Uh, the cream of mushroom is unappetizing as it looks. Jesus, that looks gross. <laughs> uh, go ahead and put both cans right on top. Uh, it's wiggly. It's mushroom jello at this point. And you, uh, I used two... Uh, tablespoons of the parsley and then one of the rosemary uh, if i had to do it again i'd probably leave the rosemary out or at least cut it down a little bit but it worked out really well for what it is here you can also add salt and pepper i've been trying to cut both of those out of uh my diet so i didn't use those as all use two cups of your chicken broth or water if you don't have the chicken broth that's fine uh i just happen to have chicken broth sitting around so you go ahead and add two cups of that and it's going to bring it up pretty high so you don't have to worry about adding anything else now if you want the broth and stuff to be thicker you can add a little bit of flour or cornstarch and it'll make it a little thicker like a more gravy-esque uh i don't mind it being th uh thin 
uh, especially if I'm going to put it on rice or something, because then all that stuff soaks down into the rice and it helps that good. So go ahead and give it a decent bit of stir, but you don't have to do it too much because it's going to be cooking for quite a while. You're going to put it on high, but you're going to put it on for four hours, okay? Uh, and at least check the temperature. Make sure it's 165 on the in, uh, interior of it. So just put it on for four hours, and it's more than cooked. Now this is about two hours in. I'm showing you how thick this is. And then my next shot, this is at the full four hours uh, without adding any cornstarch or anything to it. You can see how thick it gets, but you can make it thicker. Uh, see how it's kind of thin here on the plate. But this is outstanding. This is meal prep for a week for at least six meals. Uh, you could do it for a family <laughs> and make the chicken bigger. Again, put it on rice, put it on bread. Just put it on a plate by yourself, put it in your face, you're fine. This is really good. I want you guys to try this out, all right? And there you have it, folks. That's uh, a chicken mushroom uh, dish. You could probably put it on like, uh, oh, I don't know, like rice or anything, but that's different. Uh, I've heard people do stuff like this. Mother always said, as long as there's a can of cream of mushroom in the house, there's something to be made. So uh, if y'all do this, you want to see it done differently, or you'd like to let us know, and we can try it and circle back to it, let us know. Put it down in the comments. Very much appreciate that kind of stuff, man. I love coming back and trying this stuff, cause, mostly because I get to eat this. So <laughs> be sure to, you know, let us know here. Or you can find us on social media over at uh, Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon. You can find us at all of those at Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. Thank you very much. Shout out to our patron. And uh, also over at Instagram, you can find us at Living Between. I had to shorten it over there because whatever <laughs> you find us over there let us know send us pictures follow us get updates random cooking memes whatever just a short line in between us and here on youtube so oh and by the way no i'm not one of these uh golden liony people if you're from amp guard or ck because that's what you get for being an opd but i'm still from the wetlands it's just a really cool hoodie that my friend got me so <laughs> until next time enjoy your food and i'll see you